All right, so we're gonna have, learn how to tune the tune a guitar. Um, it's not that difficult. It takes a little bit of listening and twisting, and then with our with our new gadgets like applications on the phone and tuners, it makes tuning a lot more easier rather than using a tuning fork and putting it here, listening to it, and then like tuning everything by ear, which you can. But it takes a, a lot more practice. But for right now, we're gonna do it with. Uh, I have a tuner on my on my uh, headstock on my guitar headstock. Some of you guys might have um, phone applications, applications for for tuners, and that's okay. It's totally cool because they all work the same. Um, if you notice, uh, in the, there's like maybe a needle that goes left or right. Usually, that 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 indicates. Um, uh, there are two words, sharp or flat. So the first one is sharp, uh, flat, excuse me. It, it's a small little B, symbolize it with a small little B, lowercase B. And then the sharp is um, like a hashtag looking symbol. So what that really means is not necessarily the, the volume increases or lowers, it's more about the um, the pitch level. If it's lower by doing this, this is going flat, this is going sharp. Yeah, so it has nothing to do with volume, it just has to deal with the pitch either going uh, lowering or raising. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my tuner and we're gonna go step by step string by string on what to tune and where to tune okay so well, let's go ahead and start with the sixth string okay now let's follow the string okay so we're going to be right here on this far right top tuning machine okay so if you notice like on a, on a nylon string classical guitar um, we have bottom tuners and we have uh, we have the top, excuse me, and then we have the bottom uh, tuners. So they all they all twist to the right, to the left, in order to raise the pitch, and then twist to the right uh, in order to lower the pitch. So remember, twisting to the left to raise the pitch, twisting to the right to lower the pitch. Okay. So we're right here. We're at the very first one very first tuning machine on the top right hand side of the tuning machine okay so we should be at E but mine has a C sharp so I need to go to I need to tune my sixth string to E okay and I'm gonna twist to the left okay now remember if I do and then twist it not necessarily does any good but it doesn't give enough time for the tuning machine nor the application in order to read the, uh, the sound in order where it's at in order for you to tune it, okay? So it's important that you pluck, let it resonate, let it ring, and then tune, okay? So the process can be like this. Okay, so right now I'm in D sharp, so I'm very close to E. Okay, I was in C sharp, D, now I'm in D sharp, and I'm going to E. So I'm very, very close, okay? So I keep on twisting to the left. Okay, so I'm on E now. In some tuners also, uh, depending on what they are or what brand they are, so like there's like Fender one. So right now I have a Didario uh, small little tuner on the back of my headstock. And in this one, uh, like most tuners, um, when it shows like a light, like a green light, it means that it's in tune, if it's to the left and it's red, it means it's out of tune as well. So it could be flat or super flat, a little flat. And if it turns to the, uh, to the right, then it's super sharp and it's a red. Um, so it's something to keep in mind. Okay. okay. And now we're gonna go on A. So we follow A on the fifth string. 
Okay, we're now here in the middle tuner. This one right here on the top. Okay. I'm on G, but I need to be on A. So I'm going to twist to the left. Okay, now we're on the fourth string, which should be D. So let's follow. Okay, now this one's going to be on the far left hand side. This one, top, left, okay. We're in C, but we need to be in D, okay. So we need to be, so we're going to take C, C sharp to D. Now those are the steps, okay. Twisting to the left. Now I'm on D. Now we're on to the treble clubs, the, the treble strings, okay? Starting on the third string, it should be G. So we follow the string, we're gonna go from the, the left, bottom, left hand side. So if you notice that the D string from these two, the D string and the G, they are next to each other or are pillar parallel to each other, okay? So we're here. All right? Same thing, you need to twist to the left. Just let it ring. Until you get to G natural. I went too far to the left, so I note got sharp, so it'd be right on the double. Now we're on to the second string, to the B string, so now let's follow. Okay. We're right here in this middle, middle tuning machine. Okay. I'm on G sharp. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to tune where I'm at exactly. Yours can be slightly off. But just remember just to two, okay? So I'm in G sharp. I need to be in B. I'm in A sharp now. I'm on B. Now we're going to concentrate on the E string, the first string. Let's follow that. So now it's going to be this bottom far right hand corner. Ah, I noticed something too. This left, this far right top, and this one right here are adjacent to each other. They're, they're parallel to each other. And then these two, okay, which E, and this should be E too, but I, I want to see sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and tune my first string to E. Twisting to the left two until I get to E. To, to finally tune everything, like I do uh, octaves, so this A to this A right here, this low E to this E, or this E to this E too as well, and then this on the second string of the, uh, I mean the second fret of this fifth string, which is B, to the second string B, and then like once I have that mostly in tune, then I just kind of like just play it. A chord, a couple of chords. Okay, and then I start my exercises from there. All right. I hope you find this video um, helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. You have my emails, and um, I'll be looking.
people are into seeing you how you tune your guitar. All right, see you guys.